hello everyone welcome to the daily life channel how are you all doing this beautiful thursday blessed beautiful day um i want to give you guys a little update on how things are going okay and um tomorrow i'm going to start um, another video okay and with some different content i was going to build a whole lot of content today but i decided maybe keep it for tomorrow because I want to join it with some other content uh, makes more sense you know <laughs> so let's get to the updates show you guys around what's going on so in terms of the garden um, all is good as you can see we have most of the white stone um, in place just missing that little patch there and that's right there that's where we're going to keep all the the wood for the fireplace we decided to start going to put stones we weren't going to put stones there but we decided to put also stones so we can pack up all the wood okay and um for winter the wood will be all dry it will be all good um this came in handy the cement barrier that's what's cool um what else Oh, we're going to put more white stones also down there. So this will be all white stone. And um, here are the grapevines. Okay, the grape trees here. Um, and that's it. So I'll stop here. So I'll also have to make a little cement barrier for now. For the white stones. And then I want to plant some more fruit trees down. Um, so that's um, then can okay, maybe I'm gonna put more white stones, but I first want to plant the trees, you know. So everything's going well, everything's going well. This tree I still believe is going to pick up, although everyone's telling me that it's gone. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover, like they say. It's the banana tree is excellent, the chicken is all happy. In the little house as you can see she's there right now just cooling down okay just resting <laughs> um, it came very in handy the cement because now we can clean it every day so it's looking good I still haven't found the new chickens for here because it's not easy to get the breeds that I'm looking for so I've stopped looking for different ones now because apparently there aren't a lot of chickens going on nowadays I don't know what's going on I think it's because now comes the good weather and they start hatching, um, laying down more eggs, hatching the eggs properly, you know. So the breeders don't really invest in the little chicks, right, uh, during the winter and cold time. So I think they're going to start just um, popping out, you know. <laughs> and um, But I'm still looking as soon as I can get the chickens. I, I'm, I'm anxious to make a video on that because that's always cool. And uh, this is looking good. Everything is growing. Okay. At the same rate. Good rate. Um, I just have to now plant those. So I'm just keeping all these stuff for um, proper content videos. So I don't mix too much stuff up and it becomes too much confusing. Um, but everything is growing. It's actually growing too quick now that I have to start like paying more attention, you know. So... Um, Saturday I'm going to get some um, the melons that I talked about and plant these ones into the ground So everything is looking beautiful Can't wait to eat these can't wait to eat everything <laughs> So that's the updates here everything's good. I'm going to work more on the weekend on this Now let's go to the next one The next update which is looking quite cool um, and also progressing well, just like the vegetables. <laughs> uh, let's show you guys here. Oh, forgot to turn the camera. Right, yes, she is. Or he, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so, it is going well. As I said, I am look, going for all the vintage look on it, okay? Um, so we're already getting the electric parts on the machine uh, let me see if i can get some light here oh there you go see so we've got all the original components 
of course we have to boot new contactors and timer because we can't use the old ones because those ones just packed up and you can't really buy old stuff like that anymore so um, we got the capacitor the transformers rectifiers everything going um, got the pneumatic cylinder on ready um, ready to fire up we got this so the this part of the oscillator okay radio frequency oscillator um, this is just um, this isn't going to stay here it was just to to support this so we could get, know that everything's right in place the measurements and everything else because we have to measure the, the frequency you know make sure everything's in, um, gonna work well once we switch on the machine and uh, then I'm going to modify these just replace them for um, either PTFE or just um, polythene, 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 I don't know, the English is not very good <laughs> for that kind of thing, um, but they're going to be replaced, okay, uh, so yes, got a little fan, which didn't even come with a fan for the for the electron tube, I didn't have a fan, but I'm going to put a fan because I just think it's going to overheat. We got our anti flash, which protects the electrodes from not burning up. So, yes, I know it's a bit confusing. What is it for? What does it do? But in time, you guys will see. <laughs> and then the other major update is we got a roof on people yippee okay so it makes a big i mean a huge difference in terms of heat um of course we still have to now start closing up the front and the side the car fits which is perfect exactly what i wanted um it actually stayed much looks big and more has much more space than I thought it would so really painted where the roof went is going um, where it is <laughs> really got to paint it all white and I just have to cover the side cover the front and it's good to go so very very happy and uh, that's about it for today guys um, and I have to go to the Raptor because I have to check what it's asking me for, the software, what I want to go to see what's going on, but uh, no, it's cool. And this van is, has quite a good length, I mean it's 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half meters, so that's pretty good. That's exactly what I need, just the car, so it has another meter front, another meter to the back. So yes, it's excellent. Okay, so now I have to go to the reps to see what's going on. It's a beautiful, beautiful Jeep. Just standing here, looking beautiful. <laughs> and our beautiful Mazda. I know it has a bad reputation, but it's such a beautiful car anyways. And it's just getting better and better good looking with age and uh, what I call my white phantom okay the Honda type R yes it is a type R okay I know it's not the fanciest one there is but it's okay <laughs> I'm extremely happy and I, I love this futuristic style like I say the classic um, at that time it was very futuristic, I just like the the way they did it at the time thinking about now a car that had some futuristic looks from that age, from that time, from that era and this was just perfect so let's see what the rat is asking me it's asking me, okay, so what happened is apparently you buy these cars now and um, they only offer you one year subscription, so other than all that, you know, I thought it would be more. You have to apply to monthly subscription payments, which I didn't know. 
This one only has 2,000 kilometers on it. I really drive very little this. So I have to go here. So I had to apply for monthly subscription. It's past a year already. And now I have to... Um, I activated the monthly subscription. You pay like... It's not even 4 euros. So it's 3 euros something. It will be like... Maybe like $4. $4 something. Like $4. Um, and you have to activate it. And then make sure that it's... Um, that is doing all the system on its own because it says it's autonomous. So let's see here. Okay, yes. So there you go. Thirty. Thirtieth of the first. Okay, yes. So that was today. So it did updates and it's working again. So what they give you basically is. Oh man, Let's see. Not used to this modern stuff, although I I do a lot of things on computer, phones, everything. But just on the car, you, radios and everything just change so much. Uh, so where is this? This will be mm, yes. So this is what it gives you: vehicle connectivity, location, data and remote control, live traffic, local hazard information. So if you don't subscribe monthly, you lose all this, basically. So, is it worth it? I guess so. I just did a note that it would only be for a year, you know. Um, but basically, that's what they're doing. So if you have a Ford Raptor, or a Ford, basically, because it has to do with the system, not because it's a Ford Raptor. Um, in one year time, you have to pay monthly for this. So. I didn't know. I'm sure most people already know. And now someone's phoning me. Just on the right time, eh? Excellent. <laughs> okay, so now that's it. We got this up to date and working well. Beautiful car, which I will be reviewing in my secret spot. And that's it, guys. Um, it was going to be a short video. Just to keep you guys up to date what was going on. Because I said I was going to post on Thursday. But um, I need to join the content I have with some other content. So that's Friday or Saturday. Friday or Saturday. I'll upload that video. Uh, it's going to have some car contents. Some um, other different content. We have to fetch some items for the chicken palace <laughs> okay we need to get wood so planks of wood so we can prepare it for the new chickens and uh, who knows maybe I can get the chickens and other things but um, there's a lot of stuff going on um, I don't want to just like say everything you know <laughs> keep a bit in a, a little bit of a mystery and um, just stay updated, guys on the videos um, so you guys can uh, always see them popping out you know the videos <laughs> and um, just keep on look at the channel subscribe like that it's easier you can just get notified and uh, that's about it thank you guys once again and see you guys on the next one